Greetings, got a blurb for you here about this IBM Model F keyboard, or really, it's gonna be a keyboard. Right now it's just the case. And this one uh, was manufactured October 22nd, 84, almost exactly 36 years ago as I record this. But anyway, yeah, this is just the case. I've cleaned it up and still got the feet in there, thankfully, and the little metal springy bits. And of course the bottom plate, metal. But you can see it's missing feet, uh, and there was a bunch of like corroded orangey brown grossness that was just sticky all along here. And it's still kind of on there. I got off as much as I could without damaging the paint job. Same for the front. There was a bunch you know, along the back here and, and it got into the mechanisms themselves, unfortunately. And that's why it doesn't have anything inside there now. So the whole internals of this I had to pull out of there. Uh, this was a donation from years ago, actually. Uh, I got a couple of Model Fs sent in. One of them worked perfectly fine, just needed a good cleaning. This one didn't. It had a bunch of gunk inside and it had corroded, oxidized, and most of the keys didn't work at all anymore. And if you know anything about Model Fs, these are such a pain to get inside of. We'll see that here in a moment uh, because I've got some new old stock IBM parts. Look at this. This is from uh, IBM Greencastle, Indiana's parts room, apparently. This is their keyboard assembly. This one was manufactured in 1987 for the Model F. It's been opened just to ensure that it's in there, but yeah. Uh, I saw this on eBay again a long time ago, a year or something, uh, and just had to grab it because how often do you come across these? New old stock IBM internals for the Model F of all things, which in my opinion is miles better than the Model M uh, except for the layout, of course, <laughs> if you're using it on a modern machine anyway. Uh, but I do want to use this on, well, well, you know, 5150s and 60s, XTs. But yeah, look at this. <laughs> this is really, really, really special. You hear that already? Oh, man. Look at that. New old stock IBM. It just smells like nothing now, unfortunately. It has been opened, like I said, to uh, I don't know when, but before I bought it. Again, just to ensure the contents, but look at that. <laughs> Brand new keys, new mechanisms, new springs. I mean, that is absolutely crisp. Beautiful. Uh, but yeah, like I said, these are such a pain to get into the back of and restore because uh, you see this, this back plate. Yeah, it's, it's very much attached. You have to like completely bend these, these steel bits out of the way. And then even then I've tried to take one of these apart once years ago. It didn't work out well at all. <laughs> so... I was just like, nope, not gonna do it. So I was thinking either get the original mechanism that was in here, maybe serviced by someone, or I just got lucky and found this one really, new old stock, so that's what we're gonna do. I, I assume it's new old stock, right? It's distributed that way, it was sold to me that way. The only thing that I've noticed is that uh, the keys themselves, there's a slight yellowing around the actual insignia is the printing on there. It's faint. I don't even know how well it'll show up on camera, but it's there. That might just be a natural process of where they, you know, it, it sort of bleeds out a little bit. I've seen that as well. Seems pretty new to me though. And really all we need is a compatible cable that will go right there in the PCB and then out the back of the keyboard. So yeah, here's the cable. This is uh the one that I had in there originally. You can see that <laughs> even that right there, the ground was just, it's all rusted. I cleaned this up as much as I could too. Uh, it did seem to work when I plugged it into another Model F keyboard, but you know, there's a chance it won't, <laughs> who knows? Especially because it has this little spot there where it's just starting to come apart. It doesn't look frayed necessarily, 
but it's light. Thankfully, that's sort of in between the plastics of the case, so hopefully that'll be fine. We'll see, though. <laughs> you never know. And yeah, thank goodness the legs are still on here. This is this little feet. The other one that I had uh, that got donated, that one was broken. So this one is the, the nicer of the two in that regard. So it only has one foot on the other one. I get a 3D printed one or something, or maybe just find a spare part eventually, but yeah, here we go. Fits like a glove. Put the cable in there. Actually, we'll need to move these feet out of the way just a little bit. Because it kind of tucks behind there. There we go. And just the metal plate, that sort of goes down here. There's a couple little slots. And there we go. Get the little feet out here. Elevate it at an angle and check that out. <laughs> Effectively, a nice mix of uh, new and old in terms of the parts. And I mean, it's all old. But yeah, <laughs> new internals, old externals. And it cleaned up pretty well. Like I said before, this looked nasty. There's some gross stuff all over this thing. That took a while to clean the logo there and the badge. But yeah, like I said, other than just the, the slight yellowing around each of the, the print, the printed parts. <laughs> Oof, man, that feels good. Always just, I love this keyboard. I've got a Soros converter that I do use to occasionally use these on modern PCs over USB, but yeah, like I said, I'm gonna try this on an IBM 5150 or 60. I don't know, one of the two. And the other thing I have, and just to complete it here, are some uh, little cork feet. I don't know if these are actual IBM things or what, if they're just cut to the same size, but uh, yeah, there's a seller on eBay that was selling a bunch of these as well. So I just bought a bunch of them for these and other IBM things that I have, or just, you know, old computers, keyboards in general. A lot of them have cork feet of a very particular thickness and grain and style. And I don't know, these are exact. So they go right there where you see the little discoloration bits. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Such satisfaction. <laughs> Cork feet. Oh yeah. Pretty much as good as you can ask for in terms of a, a quick refurbishment. Wasn't a cheap one, but it's quick. Oh yeah, dude, that is not going anywhere with those core feet <laughs> and the little uh, elevation legs down. Uh, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, such a satisfying keyboard. Seriously, if you could take the, the layout of the Model M, just the traditional ANSI layout, and put these, the mechanisms, the back plating, and just all the, the heaviness of this, it would be pretty much a perfect old keyboard, in my opinion. It's so nice. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, let's go ahead and um, plug this in to an appropriate PC and test it out. I have no reason to think it won't work, but we're going to do it anyway. All right, so I got everything all plugged in here to a wonderful IBM 5150 PC. This is not the one that was recently donated to me. I've tried that. It doesn't work. Needs a repair of some kind. Looks like maybe the graphics, maybe memory, but anyway. This is my trusty old one and a Princeton Graphics Systems Max 12 Amber Display Monochrome. Let's turn it on.
I'm just going to boot into basic here so we can test the keyboard with some text. All right. <laughs> so far, so good. Awesome. That's all the main keys there. So. Nice. Uh, num lock. <laughs> yeah. It seems to be that everything is working, which is fantastic. Obviously, I had no reason to think it wouldn't. Uh, my only thing that I was kind of wondering about, you know, was that cable, but it uh, seems to be that's okay. And of course, we got a basic prompt, so you know what we gotta type in. Actually, you know. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> I mean, you know, we have to. And here's the law. Oh yeah, happy to have another IBM Model F keyboard working nicely, even though it's not in 100% amazing cosmetic condition. Doesn't matter. These things, <laughs> they got their value and uh, their use cases in my case. Sounds like that might need a little bit of lube. It's a little uh, different sounding than Last time I used this, there's like a whirring to it, like a, yeah. Wah, 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 wah. Sounds like something's rubbing. Anyway, DOS, it does what it does. And that is pretty much it for this video. Just wanted to get another Model F looking, or well, really working, that much better than it was, which it wasn't. <laughs> it was just a case, so. <laughs> Whatever. Combination of parts. It all came together. Hope you enjoyed seeing it come together. And that is it. Thank you for watching.